And a verb, yeah. Back again. First one of 2023. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Last time out, I visited the most northern team I've ever visited. That was Geisley AFC, and uh, that's not north enough for some people, and I get it. Went Man United the other day, though, didn't I? So keep an eye on the channel for that. But today, I'm visiting the best league in the pyramid. Of course, it's the Essex Senior League, partly because it's uh, quite near, and uh, yeah, I get to go to bed afterwards quite quickly. Trust me, when you get older and have kids, you will totally understand. But until then, you can keep moaning at me for not going out as far as... I should be. In other news, new car. It's a black one. I'll show you in a bit. But first, I'm heading through the old manor, which is great. And for any regular viewer, hang on a minute, Clive? Yeah, any regular viewer, Grays means one thing. You're getting robbed. Other than that, it normally means we're going to go and pick someone up, which is normally via a whip restriction that nobody wants to really go through, apart from myself and those cars that just came through. Once we wait at the red lights, I'm just going to check my channel because uh, the last few uploads here, there's a couple of on the roads there. Those kit rankings did crap, didn't they? A couple of trips to Italy. And then, Farnham Town, two months ago. That was the last time I saw this person. The has just given us the green light. Should we head there? Let's head there. And here we are, the complex, home to one man. And here is that man. It's not a jacket. Thank you. So glad you're back. I think people thought we'd had a row or something. I've just been busy. Well, not busy. I've been ill most of the time. So yeah. Should we get a burger? Yeah, hopefully it's cooked, because I don't want to die again. <laughs> So off we go for some Friday night football, this is. You've obviously seen the title, we've seen the thumbnail. We're off to name, Woodford Town FC. We're founded in the year 2000. Currently find themselves eighth in the Essex Senior League. Playing out of Ashton Playing Fields, which has a total capacity of... I, I don't actually know. Wikipedia needs to up their game. Where's all the editors out there? According to the club's website, they were founded in 1937. Sort it out. From the A13 to the A406, right through to uh, this part of London. Where people, they can't drive. What's going on? Mate, what are you doing? Mate, what are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, we've just witnessed an electric Just Eat bike. Who's pedaling though? I know. As I say, some people can't drive. What are you, what are you doing, bro? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I shut my throat. I had a bad throat anyway. So whilst Charlie sorts his throat out, let me tell you about this week's sponsor. So this episode of On The Road is brought to you by the global leaders of below the waist grooming. Of course, it's Manscaped. So 2023 is truly here and I'm sure you've got all your goals and resolutions and whatnot, but I need to make sure that you're going to go into these with a clear mind and a fresh trim. And Manscaped wants to help you with this special offer. All you've got to do is use the code SMITH20 for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Start this year at the top of your game and join the other 7 million men that trust Manscaped with the Performance Package 4.0. The Lawnmower 4.0 is the leader of the Performance Package 4.0, or as I call it, the perfect package for my package, but enough about my package, let's talk about... Let's not talk about your package, but um, let me help you with your package. Shave those loose pines off your wood with the best tool for the job. The signature Lawnmower 4.0 is here to take down every pube in its path. I hear you're having trouble with wild weeds in your nose and your ears. Well, Manscaped has you covered with the Weed Whacker. It's a game changer as you whack the worst of your weeds. Look at that. Ever feel like you need a refresh? Well, the Crop Preserver is an anti-ball chafing deodorant which will provide freshness for your boys below the waist. And don't get me started on the Crop Reviver. It's a spray-on toner for your balls featuring soothing aloe and witch hazel extracts for protection. And this hygiene bundle closes out with not one, but two free gifts. Firstly, the super comfy Manscaped anti-chafing boxers that will keep your junk fresh all day long. And of course, the Shed Travel Bag to store your new favourite package. Forget about smelling good, that was so last year. Try smelling like a million dollars and having sky higher confidence with Manscaped Refined Cologne. It's the same signature scent that's in all Manscaped products, and it's a great compliment for your collection as well. So what are you waiting for? Head over to manscaped.com and use the code SMITH20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Join me in smelling good this year with Manscaped. And the timing there was absolutely impeccable. Gonna chuck a Larry. Follow it around to this establishment. We're definitely in the right establishment. I'm seeing floodlights. Yeah, I think we just park up here. It's raining. Oh. Let me give you a tour of our mini countrymen. You can't see the wheels because they're black. Beow. Lights. You know, it's probably a bad idea trying to show you a black car in the dark. Very really nice. I've always said to myself, you know, I wonder what a mini countryman would be like. Yeah, yeah it's really he didn't mean that at all. He really didn't. I'll upload to the members later on what he really said. So it's Carl. It's time to get a scarf. Oh, that that was from uh, the other night. You'll see in the video coming up soon. Won't wear it though. Definitely not. Oh, found something for Charlie though. We are most definitely in town, Woodford Town, and it's going to cost seven quid to get into this gaff. Seven quid paid. Now I think we might just get a click, click, click. Fair Well, we've arrived, and Charlie's got some concerns. How am I supposed to see anything? I just took the glasses off. You're filming the car. Do you need to get them? I don't have to. Look how far is that? It wasn't even this far at West Ham. <laughs> If we zoom in, then we should be all right. And then zoom in over there. Yeah, yeah I think we're good. Camera-wise, at least. Let's worry about that in a minute. Let's get some food. The first impressions are... It's quite pricey. About to pay £5 for a cheeseburger. And there it is, with its soggy onions. Got some cheesy chips as well. Charlie opted for curry sauce and chips. But that brought my total to £9. Wow. Charlie wants to add vinegar to his curry sauce and chips. And there it is. It's not cleaning spray, I promise. Unfortunately, the nozzle on the front isn't allowing a nice spray. So it ends with Charlie getting it on there from a distance. Ashton Payne Field, so home of the mighty Winter yeah, Town. Like We've got a fantastic year in store. The Wits are looking to have a really, really progressive at second half of the season and maybe you never know mount a promotion challenge i appreciate a good sound system i also appreciate good chips these were good chips despite the cheese not being melted how did i rate you you'll find out at the end of the video <laughs> 
That's another two quid spent. Volunteers, of course, are vital at non-league. Woodford need you. So if you're in the area, go on, head down. We are just in time for players to come out. It is windy, though. Mark getting photos of the football with the football. And here are your team shaking hands. Woodford in the yellow. Clacton in the white. It's third versus eighth. And it's live. But it's not. And anything I do miss tonight is uh, available on this green triangle thing. It's maybe it's a VO. Yeah, I know. I do know. I'm aware of this. But I just wanted to say green triangle thing. Is that all right? Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> So any signs suggest that ball boys could be busy tonight? Uh, maybe not all of them. We've got a nice amount of support tonight. Both sides bringing the fans. Not a huge amount of girth on the corner flags, but they're not quite chipolatas. Do you, do you see what I mean? You understand, right? I was told before kick off the fans here don't stop singing. There's a reason for that. They literally mix their chants. It's like in the mix, 96, disc 2. Robert Miles on the intro. <laughs> We move. Where do we move? We move around the ground. Do what we want, don't we? It's non league football. Shut up. A lot quieter down here, isn't it? As we continue to walk around the pitch or the, or the running track, the temptation to do the long jump is very high right now. Been raining though. Lost Charlie for a minute, but he took the scenic route. Now I said if any of these lads could nutmeg me, I'll give him a fiver. Did any of them nutmeg me? Absolutely not. The man behind the camera did though. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> easy, it's too easy. Pay up. Oh, game over, boys. He won. Didn't have a fiver either though. Tenner for Charlie. The walk continues, only realising that he's shot off halfway round. So, round two. Ah! He tried. Oh, it's gone for you legs, mate. Just let you know, the game is still going ahead, but uh, not much is happening. Despite being on the same team, Charlie's taking no prisoners. And you. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Eventually, Charlie takes everyone down. Oh, easy. Oh. Walking back around the other way, I've decided that this linesman is going to be part of the human ruler family because he's straight as a wealth ruler. So far for me, the game's mainly been this. <laughs> So as we approach half time, let's walk. No, no more food, just gonna remortgage the house for a hot chocolate. Before half time though, Clacton got a corner. Yeah. They were right, despite going one nil down, they don't shut up. Anyways, I pick up a Twix. The halftime whistle does go. Hot chocolate is being made. Charlie's going to grab one too. And it looks like we're getting the Galaxy Instant Mix. I've got to say, £3 for a hot chocolate is very steep. Do I get cream on top? I did not get cream on top. Anyway, we're going to sit with the flags. And there's a flag that says 1937 on it. 2020? Sort it out, Wikipedia. I've missed a trick with all these grounds, haven't I? I could have easily become a pin badge hat man, couldn't I? If you're a sub and playing at Ashton playing fields, just bear in mind, ball boys clock off at half time. So uh, you're going to have to get the balls yourself. What are you looking at? Harrison, who's part of the media team here at Woodford Town, has come to say hello. 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 And just like that, players make their way back onto the pitch. That's a nice hat. Charlie's got cast iron insides. He's just necked a hot chocolate. For me, haven't even tempted fate. Not bothered. Didn't want to ruin the weekend. Not a chance. As people make their way back, I'm wondering if we've taken someone's seats. To be fair, that's not as if their name's written on it. Your name on my official? It's not. What the f off? Get off. Always looking out for a number two, and we hopefully he can do us proud. If he did play in the first half, we would have been 40 miles over the other side, so uh, we didn't see much of him. And he has just lost the ball as well, which means Woodford can get on the go. There's number nine here on his ten toes. See you later. Oh. One always open a Twix one-handed and offer Charlie half. <laughs> Gotta be sure as ball boys continue to do what ball boys do best, get balls. Meanwhile, the band are drunk. <laughs> Word on the street traces the music teacher around the corner at St Albans. Unfortunately, they had a break in a couple of months ago where all their instruments were stolen, including tambourines. I mean, who was then? She's currently on the phone to the police, referencing the crime reference number ending in 628. I mean, we'll see how this pans out. I told you it was raining, didn't I? Well, it stopped. I didn't tell you it stopped, but it has started again. Just letting you know. Ian down in front, not happy with his cheddar and onion McCoys. He picked them up out of that dark cupboard at home, thinking they were the Thai sweet chicken flavour. I feel your pain, mate. I do. Got to be said a bit more action in this second half as Woodford come forward again. <laughs> If they were serious about this game, Woodford really should have brought on Lee Sharp for that. Currently trying to get a throw in football to football, but those lights are just they're just a pain. And now I feel like I've witnessed something I've never seen before. A linesman actually fetching a ball. At one old Woodford got some defending to do from this corner now. Anyway, I managed to get my photo, but then. Unbelievable scenes as a parrot gives Wood for the lead. I do love a good bit of defending, and I do make me laugh. I said we're at West Ham. <laughs> 
<laughs> Charlie then proceeded to take a photo of his nostrils, zoomed, cropped, bunked to my new wallpaper. If you would also like this wallpaper, now's your chance. Take a screenshot, make the most of it. Smith's nostrils available too. Seven's been subbed off for Clacton, and I've been told Woodford will be invoicing for the damages to this corner flag. An absolute hooligan. Talking to subs. <laughs> Four boys now orchestrating things. They're not wrong, Clacton are a rugby team. They've stuck the ball over the bar so many times, but this corner, a little more dangerous. Oh! Take your time, son. 90th minute. Let the clock run down a bit. It's Smith and Charlie in 40 years. Good to see we haven't lost the love for it. And a completely unrelated question, but where do the older folk get these beige coats? That's full time. <laughs> And so, handshakes all round, one happy gaffer. Appreciation for the fans to the players and the players to the fans. I think it's time to rate this experience, shall we? Let's. And as per usual, we'll start off with atmosphere. How can I not rate it five stars? They carried on all night long. I do hope they can get their own instruments though, because stealing from schools is just not the one. But yeah, five stars for Woodford Town. Great start. Next up, I'm going to tell you about the facilities. How was it at Ashton Playing Fields? Listen, I love non-league grounds because you can walk and roam around. I didn't really get much roaming done because we can go all the way around. I also like grounds where you're closer to the action and this was anything but. But look, in an ideal scenario, I don't think they'd want a running track, but this is what they've got. Unfortunately, it has hindered the score and I'm going to have to go with two. But we move on, don't we? Food and drink. Start with food, got the quarter pounder with cheese, didn't we? Soggy onions, that was all good, but it was really weird. I couldn't really get much taste from it. There was no flavour. Good texture, but no flavour. Really strange. Onto the cheesy chips where the cheese wasn't melted. They were really great chips. They were pushing a five, I'd say. But that cheese, I could have grated some at home, brought it along and saved some money. Overall, unfortunately, that burger is, has brought it right down. It wasn't bad, it just didn't taste of anything. Uh, two and a half stars, but we did have Dr. Pepper. Give him half a star bonus, that's three stars in total. And finally, we are talking cost. Seven quid to get in, absolute bargain. Love these prices, fantastic. But is it five stars? It should be. Unfortunately, those food and drink prices were a little bit higher, weren't they? That three quid for a hot chocolate, for example, that's, that's extortionate. I know not all clubs are responsible for the food and drink prices because it's a separate company, but cost... We're going to knock it down by one. Four stars. I'm too nice a person. And that gives them a total of 14 stars. Respectable score. As they're going to fall from rub shoulders with Farnham Town and Chombori in Thailand. Mad. So that brings our Friday night trip to Woodford Town to an end. We're out of here in the mini, which isn't mini. It's quite chunky, actually. And here's to another year of football content. As always, let me know in the comments below where you want me to go. And if you're new and just so happen to stumble across this channel, why not subscribe for future videos and check out the On The Road playlist. I have an absolute binge. There's over 120 videos in there for you. My name's Smith. This is On The Road. And I'll see you in the next one. A mini. I've got myself a mini. 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 What's it? A mini what? A mini in country club, wherever it is.